Hi, I am Hari Prasad. Let us start the chapter limits. In this chapter, we are going to learn how to find out the limit of the function and what do we mean by limit of a function. Let us start module number 1. In this particular module, we are going to learn what is the meaning of the word tending to. Let us uh, start the chapter now. Meaning of x tending to a is what we have to learn first. So, immediately the question that comes to my mind is what is the meaning of x tending to 2 or x tending to any particular number? a is in general, so it can be particularly x tending to 2, x tending to 3, something like that. So, what is the meaning of that? Does it mean x is equal to 2? Does it mean uh, that x is equal to something else? So, to answer this particular question, we will consider the following example. Consider a boy who always covers 50 percent of the total distance. That means, the boy covers 5 meter for the first time. So, where he will be? He will be at 5 meter mark. The boy will cover 50 percent of the remaining 5 meter. That means, he will cover 2.5 meter for the second time. Third time, he will cover 1.25 meter and so on. If this is the case, when the boy will be exactly on 10 meter mark, can you predict? The answer is, the boy will be never on 10 meter mark, but he is very close to 10 meter mark, right? Similarly, when we write x tending to 2, we mean that x is very close to 2, but it is not equal to 2. Consider the number line. We have minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. When x tends to 2, it can be close to 2. When I say close to 2, it can be from the left side or it can be from the right side also, right? Suppose if I say x tending to 2 and if x is uh, close to 2 from the left side, then it can take the following values. Can you guess what are the values it can take? x is equal to 1.8? Yes, possible it can take 1.9. Yes, it is close to 2. 1.99. Yes, it can take these values, right? And 1.999. Yeah, still very close to 2 and so on. There are many, infinitely many values that it can take, right? When x tends to 2, if x is close to 2 on the right, then it can take the following values. Which are the values? Can you guess? 2.3 it can take, it can take 2.2, it can take 2.1 and uh, 2.01, so on. It can take many other values, right? Yes. So, now the question is clear to us. Let us now talk in case of general elements like x and a. Let x be a variable. What is the meaning of variable? Quantity which keeps changing. And a be a constant. What is the meaning of constant? Quantity which has a fixed value, right? If x takes the value nearer and nearer to a, then we say that x tends to a and we write it as x arrow mark and a. We read it as x tending to a. Note that in this case x cannot be equal to a and we are not specifying any manner in which x should approach a. That means it can approach to a from left as well as it can approach from right. Now, when x tends to a from the left, we have the following situation. If x approaches a, taking all values less than a, but nearer to a, then we say that x tends to a from the left. We write this as x tends to a and we put a small minus over a. This minus is not to be used in any of the calculation. Similarly, when x tends to a from the right, we have the following situation. If x approaches a, taking all the values greater than a, 
but nearer to A, then we say that x tends to A from the right and we write it as x tending to A plus, we write small plus sign over A, right. This is the notation that you need to remember. Thank you.